These are Bora voices. Welcome back to the podcast, episode number 21. In this episode, we'll be featuring our student journalists with some interviews with their fellow peers, as well as an interview with our guitar teacher, Mr. Hurdle. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you. All right, uh, welcome to the podcast, episode number 21. Uh, I'm Miles, and <laughs> this is Ruben. Hello. Uh, and it came to our attention that... Uh, both me and Ruben have something very strange in common. Our parents are both in, well, I guess not both because there's multiple of them, but they're in bands, so that's fun. Yeah. Uh, kind of weird. That you're uh, the folk noir, right? Hill folk noir. Hill yeah, folk they noir. are quite strange. Oh, that boy. sounds like strange, like weird oh, avant-garde yes. stuff. Uh, uh, they call it junker dash, whatever that may mean. I've never heard that word before in my life. I'm pretty sure my dad invented it. <laughs> I'm not pretty sure. I'm positive. I know he did. Oh, God. Strange people. Uh, we good music? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess so. I've heard it all enough times that it's like, yeah. it's hard to tell <laughs> anymore. I feel, I feel. It might be terrible. I don't know. I really love my dad, so there's a heavy bias towards that. Yeah, same. Yeah, he's the re- he's one of the reasons uh, I started playing bass guitar because he also plays bass guitar. I see that. And I'm like, whoa, I want to do that. Yeah. And it wasn't until I was like 12 when I realized, wow, that that's a lot of work. I know. It's. I think to me it was always like deep down I thought it must have been like easy, and they were just doing it because it was fun. And then I realized that it's a lot of work goes into it. Like there's a lot of painstaking hours of rewriting and rewriting and rewriting and rewriting songs and then scrapping them because you don't like it yeah it's a modern a new realization for me (laughs) yeah it's just like any form of art you know Mm -hmm. it's like i feel like a lot of little kids have this which is why what's so cool about little kids because they'll like they'll get a crayon and like draw on a piece of paper and they'll be like i'm doing art and they are doing art but if you look at like then if you look at like professional art and it's just so many different techniques it's so different and but at at its core it's the same thing you know there's just a it's a lot harder to do as you get older like there's a lot of other forces pushing against you for that i mean right i mean you can even do like the really really simple stuff like seven nation army everyone knows that song Mm -hmm. and it's like yeah the same thing over and over and over it's true true fact sometimes the greatest you know Music in the world is so extremely simple. Oh, there's so many like um, uh, like interviews I've seen of uh, like rock musicians being like, "Oh yeah, my favorite riffs are like riffs like uh, guitar stuff or bass stuff or whatever." It's just stuff that I can play and that's like easy and I learned as a kid. Yeah, and it's fun. Oh yeah. I'm here with Julia Porter, longtime member of band. Hello. Julia, how about you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Julia. Uh, I played trumpet since fifth grade, and I'm a senior now at Bora. Okay, do you remember how you picked the trumpet in fifth grade? Um, I actually have some pretty vivid memories. I don't remember why I chose the trumpet. I don't think I even had a reason, but I just remember being, like, super territorial. Like, I asked everyone in band, like, are you playing trumpet? And then I was like, haha, because, like... You were the, the only one. one? I was the only one that stuck around, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, do you want to tell me about your ex- experience in high school band and the transition from like, doing your high to high school? Yeah. So I have always been super, like, anxious when it comes to, like, playing. It's kind of weird because I don't have, like, performance anxiety, but I had, like, really bad, like, trumpet anxiety, I guess. Um, and, like, I like the first playing test we did, playing test is, like, so you have to, like, play, like, a rhythm or a lick in front of the entire band. Like, I remember I was so nervous, and I messed up a bunch, but, like, um, and that was kind of the thing that sort of solidified it from, like, junior high to high school band. It was, it was real like, now. It was real, and it was, like, worth a grade, and, like, I was super nervous about it, but, like, I remember I was overhearing a conversation with, like, the senior trumpets, and they were like, oh, did you see Julia? She actually did pretty well. And I was like, oh my god! And that was like, 
when I first kind of, this sounds kind of dumb, but when I first kind of felt really accepted by my section into the band, because, like, I was super nervous of them, but I shouldn't have been. What, um, what are some of your favorite moments and, like, the things you'll remember most from band? Um, last year, in, like, March, um, we went to Seattle as a band, and that's something that I, like, almost guarantee everyone's gonna say, because it was a great time. We played, um, you know, we played, but that wasn't really the point of it. It was more of just almost, like, to get closer to the entire band. Like, I have, like, don't tell Sullivan this, but I have, like, I remember, like, sneaking out at night and, like, going to other people's rooms and just, like, getting closer to people, because, like, we just talk about stuff, and, like, there's like a boat cruise we went on and there is so like I can't really explain it. It was just a great time. Okay. And what yeah. will you miss the most? Um, honestly the community around it. Like, I would agree. The like band kits are just chaotic and wild <laughs> and they're so interesting because like it's it's just kind of uh, it's a nice community because everyone's kind of there for each other, even if like they mess up or they're not doing too well, because like it's just so big you have to be with each other or else you know it's not gonna work yeah so you have to be has... friends or else you're gonna yeah. not succeed okay um, yeah thank you julia yes thank you for having me my name is mr hurdle jonathan hurdle i've taught in the boise school district 28 years i taught in california for about seven I've been at Bora High School about four or five years teaching guitar here. I started, uh, oh, maybe 10 years ago teaching guitar in elementary school, went on to South, and here at Bora. Perfect. Well, what um, was your, like, inspiration to start learning guitar or start teaching? Well, I actually started many years ago in one of my college bands that I was in. Uh, the drummer that was in the band played dr uh, guitar for Joan Jett. Whoa. And yeah, that was pretty cool. And I told him I needed a guitar. And he says, oh, I can get you a discount on a guitar. And so I bought an Aria acoustic guitar from him um, years ago, brand new. Uh, I needed to learn some camp songs because I was going to be a camp director. <laughs> so I started playing that. Oh, I don't know, 30-something years ago. I know I only look like I'm in my 20s, but <laughs> about 30 years ago. And then played it off and on. Learned about seven chords. That was it. And then about 10 years ago, uh, guitar was introduced at the Boise School District. And I thought it'd be real cool. I'd like to teach it. And I started playing mandolin when my son was little. He played fiddles. And my main instrument's trumpet. And trumpet and fiddle music doesn't always mix so I learned to play mandolin and that's a fretted instrument and then started spending more time on the guitar took some classes met some people and that's where it came and I really like it a lot and I think I have about six guitars but don't tell anybody <laughs> well that's really impressive Joan Jett that's so cool that's like a cool origin story yeah. like whoa well, speaking of Joan Jett, who are some of your favorite guitar players, favorite musicians? Uh, Tommy Manuel. The, he's more of an acoustic player. Plays some blues once in a while. Um, Eric Cla Clapton, I really like his blues. In fact, that's probably my most favorite music is blues music. Uh, those, those guys play really well. Tommy Emanuel, he uses the guitar like a full band. He beats on it, he scratches it, thumps it, plays all the strings, plays melodies, harmonies, bass lines all at the same time. So he really impresses me. The thing about him is he, he never really took any lessons, didn't learn how to read music, doesn't write music, but he performs all over the world and he's pretty incredible. That's so cool. He never took any lessons at all. He just kind uh -uh. of winged it. Yeah, he Dang. started learning on his own. I'm sure you probably have talked to some people the older he got, but he listened to Chet Adkins all the time and tried to figure out what Chet was doing. And so he started playing that way, and then he started his own style of playing. Wow. Well, do you have to have any previous, previous experience at all playing guitar, or can you just kind of have a passion for it to take the class or can you just you don't need any experience it'd be good if you had most of your fingers on your hands <laughs> it'd be even better if you breathe 
and uh, um, don't fall asleep when people talk to you. <laughs> well, it sounds like a high bar, so I don't know. All your fingers, you gotta breathe, can't fall asleep. I don't know about that, but I'm just saying. Guitar is, I think, one of the more fun classes that you can take at Bora. Band and orchestra, sometimes they get really like difficult to join in and kind of enjoy taking the class when you've never had a lesson before, or you don't really know what you're doing, you just kind of want to start learning something. But I feel like guitar gives Bora like a really good opportunity or option to get students incorporated. Um, so about that, do you have any like tips or tricks or messages to any future students who may be listening? Uh, n well, make sure you use all your fingers when you eat, uh, play with your papers, because you'll need them all when you play guitar. You can't let any of them take naps. You will start using one at a time, and then you'll have to start learning to use all of them. That, and if you can read a little music that's helpful or tab, that's helpful. We have some students that are more advanced players in, in our class, and so I create, I've written a little method book, and I've created exercises and more uh, advanced songs and things for them so they don't get bored in class and at the same time beginner students can play right along with them that's really awesome it's so cool that you've made a program that's like multi-faceted like there's a bunch of different levels so everyone can kind of participate at the same time Thanks. um do you like separate it into like little pods or? It's, it's in one book i have well it's like there's one line of music there's in that line, there are letters. So if you like reading letters, you can read letters. In that, it has tab with notation. And then it has tab in uh, higher positions, fourth, fifth position, if you want to start working down the neck and things like that. So you can kind of start learning the solo up there, too. Man, that's really, really cool. Well, thank you so much for meeting us in the studio today. Um, to any students listening that haven't taken a music class yet or are worried about taking mu a music class or an art class or want to do performing arts, take guitar, to guitar into consideration. It sounds like by far one of the coolest classes that we have at Bora, like a way that you can like learn something new or expand your skill set or even just have like a fun period during the day when you can like relax. So thank you so much to Mr. Hurdle for coming in and interviewing with us today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Perfect. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, hello, I'm with Jose. Uh, he sings in choir and wants to be a musician. Uh, I guess I kind of gave away the first question. What instrument do you play? Well, I'm a vocalist in uh, one of Boar's varsity choirs and our concert choir. Is it just singing or is it to play anything else? Um, particularly? I play like a smidgen of piano, but I mainly sing. Neat, neat. All right, so what really got you into music, if anything? Just, you know. um, when I was little, music was all I really had to like go off of to keep me going. So it really holds a special place in my heart. Plus, my great my great grandmother before she passed, she really loved music, and so I could really bond with her with that. So it's really kind of stuck with me just for a lot of reasons. All right. So uh, here's my personal favorite question to ask people. Um, so like a desert island band, like you're on a desert island, you have one band, one artist, that's all you can listen to. One band and one artist. Or one band or one artist, just oh. like one like. I, Sam Smith. Sam all Smith. All the way. Nice. All right. I don't know them personally, but. Uh, all right. So if you are interested in, in playing professionally in the future, what do you think your dream gig would be? Like, you know. Hmm. Probably just up on stage with just a mic and just my music playing, just singing in front of people, a couple of my friends in the back, just having a good time. I'm here with Connor. Connor, can you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Connor. I'm uh, one of the two drum majors for the marching band. And I'm also a percussionist and in the choir. I'm in two choirs. Wow. Um, okay, do you want to talk about the experience of trying out for drum major and then the experience of being drum major and what that has taught you? Uh, trying out was probably one of the most stressful times of my life because 
like when you first walk in the whole band all 80 of them are just staring at you silently waiting for you to write your name on the board and it's it was pretty stressful at first and i was prepared though so i was pretty confident in my abilities and i mean it worked out so and then being drum major i've learned patience probably the most because trying to lead high schoolers is not a fun time i yeah i sympathize with the teachers a lot now because <laughs> it is it's pretty tough and yeah it's mostly just taught me patience and then not to like take everything like offensive to me like if i say anything it's not because or if someone says something to me they're not trying to like make me feel bad they're just trying to like make me do better or something so Okay, and then you mentioned you're also in choir, so what would you say is the biggest similarity between choir and band, and then what's the biggest difference? Similarity would hmm, probably just be, um, I guess one of the upfront ones is there's a lot of people who are in both band and choir, which is nice, but I'd say it's a lot of the same, like, types of pressure, and like the musicality is obviously very different because you're singing in one and not in band um yeah so that'd be one of the biggest differences and then yeah i guess similarity would just be the type of music because both do similar styles of music and there's some pieces that are written for like band and then are like transcribed for choir or vice versa so i guess a lot of the music choices would be the same cool Thanks. All right. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast episode number 21. I would like to give special thanks to the Bora High School Jazz Band and Mr. Hurdle's guitar class for all the music that they gave us. Everything that you listened to was courtesy of them. And we have a couple new segments coming up, so definitely keep listening. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.